how's it flying guys this is Lance Carball 30 and um, we are going on a trail at Mount St. Helens well we're not there yet we're not anywhere within viewing distance but we're on a trail that'll lead to there figured I'd make a little adventure blog an ad vlog if you will just gonna show the area we just saw a couple of snakes those who don't know I hate snakes so yeah that was not a pleasant sight regardless of what kind they are whether they're poisonous or not I don't care but anywho it's a bit foggy around where the mountains is right now but maybe as we go it'll kind of start clearing up yeah, that's my hope because I want to see this mountain so I came all this way didn't want to stop at the visitor center so let's see how we go you uh, know Oh, something, something went, had a pit stop there. So yeah, I'll just uh, be filming as I go. Anytime I find anything interesting, I'll start recording and just piece it together later. So we just got to the uh, the, the wetlands. I forgot exactly what the wet, these wetlands are called, the silver wetlands or something like that. Yeah, that we just got here. And, uh, yeah, I'm not the best narrator, so. Oh. Hmm. Sad. Hunter, hush. No. Hush, Hunter, you behave. Morning. <laughs> Hush. Hush, hush, hush. Behave. Behave. Our dog. I guess she's afraid of something jealous, being jealous, I guess. This what is it? <laughs> Whoa! Is that a fish or a turtle? Did you catch it? Yeah. And there was something else in the water just over there. Kind of wonder if it was a snake or no. something. That's too big for a snake. No, 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 not that. Something else over there. Oh. I wonder if it was a snake and then that. Oops. No, there's no water snakes here. So it would be a fish. Or a turtle. Or no, it's not even a turtle. It's yeah. possibly a toad or a frog. No, it was something long. <laughs> it was something kind of long. We're now at the Johnston Ridge Observatory. This isn't Mount St. Helens. That is. As you can see, a lot of it, there's a lot of clouds blocking it, but that is it right there. And a lot of this down here is area that was affected by all the ash and the mudslides and everything. See, there's a lake way over there. A lot of, a lot of area. Let's get another viewpoint. <laughs> and it's a shame we can't see the top of the mount of the volcano right now, but very least we got up to it and we had to take we had actually had to have another hour drive to see this from where I recorded last because that was just focusing on the wetland areas not too far from here and you can see you can see the difference between where everything's grown back and where it's still pretty desolate looking so 
Yeah, that's, that's pretty big. <laughs> so it's about 15 minutes later, I'm gonna guess, and more of the mountain, more of the volcano is showing. You can see higher up, you can see where I couldn't catch the snow before, but now I can. So that's actually a lot that's been shown. Um, I don't think, based on what those clouds look like over there, I don't think we're gonna see a whole lot higher, if at all. If we do, I'll try to pull this out again and show it. But I think that's, that's as much as we're gonna see today, quite possibly. I would be happy to be proven wrong. It looks like there is a little bit over here where you can see that there's some clear sky behind the cloud. But based off of the other cloud that's right in front of there, I have no idea if that's gonna block that view as well. I'll keep, um, I will keep filming a little bit just so we can see the progress. And if I have to, I'll just speed up the increase the speed of the camera a little bit that way you're not waiting as agonizingly as I am still a lot over there that's that's not of course that's not part of the mountain but that's like other obviously other ridges oh, I am Captain obvious and I don't know if you can see that lake a little better Zoom in. yeah that, apparently that spirit lake is according to a map that was in the visitor center yeah, there's not a whole lot more showing right now unfortunately but it's still, it's still a better view than what we had in the prior, prior shooting of the frames. I'm gonna go a little, a little higher. So as you can see, there's just a little more right there. I'm gonna go a little higher and then resume recording there. Okay, I think this is about as much as we're gonna see of the mountain at least while I'm gonna be here. If you can see, there is a trail that goes further. I don't think we're gonna be making that trek today. You see, like, we'll look here right here. This is showing about where, like you can see clearly, that right there is where the north face of the mountain, which is that end right there, is where that used to be. And then it started busting up and the whole this whole side so this whole side of the mountain just slid down and the eruption and the landslide just carried over the ridges because of how fast how fast and hard it was going and i can't get into a whole lot of technicals but yeah it's scary i would have been terrified to have come here during that time because you can see how far the landslide went Landslide even went as far as way up over there, and look how far away it is from that mountain. See all that land? It went up, that landslide went all the way up there, even over there. I hope you can see it, because I can't from this angle. Yeah, I think that's about as high up. This is about as high up as this viewing area gets. And it's probably about as much of the mountain we're gonna see. You see the center there. And like all these plants right here that you see, these pretty plants, they, you can see they're blocked off because things are still, even after all this time, really hard to grow back. And it takes, it takes plants a long time to effectively grow. And all the critters up here. So. Yeah, this is definitely very beautiful. And I'm glad we didn't stop at that lake down where we were earlier, because this is really pretty. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go down, go back to uh, the visitor center. That's, that's really cool. And now, pardon Hunter, puppy. Well, 
She's still young. <laughs> Anyways, we're back at my step grandmother's for now. Um, we fly back to Alaska tomorrow. So, um, hopefully, I'll be able to do what I want to do, as I mentioned. And um, but today was an interesting day. Um, the ride was long, and of course, when you got a long ride, there's not a whole lot. My signal kept going in and out, so I couldn't do YouTube. But I had songs on my phone, so I'm, I was good. I felt. Um, so we were up there a fair bit. Stepped ahead to do something up there um, where we had a signal. and But the view was very nice, if you, as you've seen before. It was very pretty. It was just mind-boggling to see everywhere. Because you could see everywhere where the landslide affected the land. And it's just, you hear about these things happening, but you don't get a real grasp of it until you see exactly how much it affected in the area immediate to it. That's not counting all the ash that went in the atmosphere and spread around through many states outside of Washington. And that's just, that's crazy. It went up and over one of the one of the other mountain ridges that landslide did. Momentum, it's a powerful thing. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know not a lot of guys are here for education. I wasn't either. I mean, I finished high school, at least, so I've got that going for me. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed the video as it is. Just sharing an experience I had for the first time with the rest of you. And... Well, I don't think I'm going to include uh, promos in the tags this time in the description. Just enjoy the video. Yeah. And as always, this has been Lance Carbalock 30 signing off.